Hey guys, Phoenix here. Gonna look at a game I found at Itch.io called A Vivid Life. Here's your trigger warning. This game contains depictions of self-mutilation. Some conversations allude to abuse and PTSD. Nudity. So, if any of those things make you uncomfortable... Sorry. I will probably censor out the nudity, because YouTube. Everything else can't do much about because it's story stuff. So this is free on itch.io, probably a link in the description, I try to remember if I can. Don't always, I apologize for that. I can't go back to live a normal life until I go through this. Voice in the radio, please come home. Did you start the tape recorder? One. This is gonna get weird. No matter what you hear, please stay put. If anything were to happen to me, this transmission will serve as a testimony. The skeleton inside of me isn't mine. What does that mean? I read that in the description I don't understand. I'm in the process of investigating what's going on. How would you even know that? Yes, I tried discarding the idea at first. However, once you're convinced of something like this, an absolute horror gets a hold of you. Picture being inhabited by a stranger. You can't just go about attending school after the realization. The best course of action is to steal an x-ray machine and escape to the country and peek in your own body. I don't think that's the best course of action. But moving on. Are you still with me? <laughs> no. Voice on the radio, please come home. It's a weird song. Please come home. Please come home. I'm surprised if she wasn't pulled over. I feel like I would be pulled over if I just had an x-ray machine taped to the top of my car. 11.45, a vivid life. All right, it's plan click. I was trying to use WASD. Okay. Um. Okay, I guess there wasn't anything else. All right, I set it up camp. Set up camp, but okay. I'll keep you posted on my advances through the radio. I brought a medkit in case the x-rays show some strange body under my skin. I... what? What, what would a medkit do, med do in that case? I don't... Or, and don't worry, I know my ways around a scalpel. Okay. She has a play button on her chest. Okay. Uh-huh. So it is point and click. Oh wow, teleports, that's nice. Oh, nudity. Uh, oh, my eyes are different colors, let's see. Okay. That's going to be a pain in the ass edit. That's interesting. There's a weird substance in my stomach. It reacts to x-rays. What could it be? I can't make... I can try to make myself throw up. Okay. Gonna keep investigating. Huh. Medkit? Okay, deep breaths. Throw up. Hope it doesn't smell much. Oh yeah. Ugh. Finger down the throat. How graphic is it? Okay, it's not bad. Ugh, the taste is awful. What was this doing inside my stomach? <laughs> so do I get to choose what it is? I recognize this. It's a plastic, ex plastic explosive. It's getting harder now that it's outside my stomach. How did this end up inside me? I don't know. More nudity. Oh, is this really nude? It's, I mean, she's very small chested. There's a scar there, that's not good. Is that bullet? Hmm, some small round object. What is it doing inside of me? I better extract it and get a closer look. Okay. Okay, deep breaths, extract bullet inside thigh. 
I've never cut so deep into my thigh. Here goes nothing. Why have you cut into your thigh at all? I'm just curious. Oh, what sound. Ugh, it's a bullet. I had a bullet inside my thigh. Now I remember Joanne's games with his guns. This is a special caliber used by Russian agents. The wound is so old was I shot as a kid. You know, let's go with the secret agent path. That's what it seems like. Why the hell do I know that? But there's no mistake. Something's tickling my brain with the fact. Also, these plastic explosive... Can I... First locate that extract. We promise to stop digging randomly in our flesh. I was going to say patch up your leg. Uh, I mean, there's a bandage over here on your sprite, but not here. Nothing there. Uh, way down to the feet. Music is changing. Oh, my feet are sized very differently. Yeah, I guess so. They don't really look like feet either. Those look like... Is that how feet bones look? They're like two shoe sizes apart. They're so different, these bones may come from different humans. Whoever put this skeleton inside me isn't familiar with the human body. Learned in class, we humans aren't symmetrical. This is not conclusive. Yeah, to be fair, people sometimes just have differently sized feet. I always hate my feet, especially when I have to buy two pairs of sneakers to get a single pair that fit my own feet. Like, I know people that have feet that are differently sized. Okay. How about the vagina? Nope, nothing in the pelvis. I'm actually shocked. Okay, how about the boobies? You know where that giant sensor bar is. Hmm, nothing. Interesting. Uh, face? Hmm, fake eye and teeth. These teeth are artificial. I should take a closer look at them. I brought some pliers with me. Um, it's a crystal eye. I could gouge it out and examine it closely. Ugh. What is wrong with you? Why is this your first... <sighs> Anything new here? I threw up some plastic explosives. I found some sort of plastic explosive attached to the walls of my stomach. It wouldn't come out with regular vomiting. When I made myself throw up, it's like my body was trained to contract in a certain way to push it out. How long has it been there? Now that it's out, I can only think of an, an specific building whose location I can't recall. Was I supposed to use the explosives to blow some hit up? Just, who am I? Do you know who I am? Tell me. Please. Please come home. Fuck. Uh, there's a bullet. It doesn't fit in any of my memories as a schoolgirl to end up with a bullet of a Russian origin inside my thigh. I don't even know how I can tell that this bullet apart from any other. Yet the knowledge is burnt in the back of my head as clear as I know my name. Fred. Could this skeleton be haunting my mind? Or is it me, the one who is possessing this body? Please come home. I'm sure the answer is beneath my flesh. God. My feet. My feet can't definitely be mine. They're so gross. I always end up getting hurt because I buy the bigger size of a pair of shoes and fill one of them with paper to fit my smaller foot. It's not only that having to buy two pairs is expensive. I look ridiculous. Please come home. These feet, I reject them. They're not mine. Okay. 
Oh, okay, deep breaths. Oh, I don't want to either. These are both so disgusting. Uh, I don't handle pain well. I, uh, well, if it's a fake eye, then it shouldn't be connected to anything. So hopefully it's just a quick... Okay, eye out. Please, no blood. Okay. Yeah, if that fake eyes, that's fine. Let's take a look, quick look and put it back. I can feel the cold air inside my skull. It's really unpleasant. I can feel life pulsating inside this. Hmm, there's a code number behind this. This is the price I paid for my stupidity. So it looks as though there's a... Secret agent's path. There's a supernatural path and a... I was a dumb kid path. So I'm going for the secret agent. There's a code number behind this. I somehow recognize this number pattern. It feels military. Okay, let's pull my teeth out. Ugh. Ah, this is gonna hurt. I should have stolen a bottle of vodka while I was at it. Oh, I don't want. I don't want to watch this. Ugh. Ugh. I have to watch it again when I edit too. Ugh. Ugh. Now my mouth is all wet. And this is that being mine, I guess. Huh, they say I look and feel like a real thing. I almost d died the day Johan beat me with a frying pan, so that's child abuse, that's what that is. Uh, this is supernatural golem type thing, and this is reminds me how they punch child soldiers other side of the border. If they come back with spare ammo or some, we'll report them for that engagement in combat. They pull a tooth out of their mouth. Why right here? Zero zero two one R one five ACTV two six five four A. Old to October Isles. Wow, sorry. Reading the code out loud instinctively brought that line to my mouth. What's this supposed to mean? I can't really remember buying this crystal eye that I think about. Please come home. Old to October Isles. That line somehow makes me feel I'm in the right place. Was it planned for me to be here? I learned about punishment to children's service in a documentary about the recent civil war beyond the border. They're supposed to live in a democracy now. Let's leave it at that. They're still figuring it out. Hopefully, they won't end up as a lot of democracy. Not so long as 10 years ago, there was a scandal over a unit composed of children and a society efficiency on the health field. The household situation lasted six, eight months, then our country deployed officers and threatening to shelter those kids. Both of them were missing teeth. The tale about how the military tore a teeth, tore a teeth, off them for every failure made a loud fuss over the news. I wonder if this skeleton is for more of them. Please come home. Will those kids ever return to their homeland? Okay, is there anything else besides these three things? No. Okay, where else? Uh, sh elbows? Nope. Cool. Nothing in the hands. Aha! A thing. Looks like an electronic device. I don't like the idea of keeping that inside of me. Well, let's rip it out, shall we? Ugh. Extract microchip under my skin. Let's remove this, baby. While you continue to bleed out from ripping my teeth out. Ugh. Ugh. Looks like a microchip. It's blinking. This is a censorship we have installed at birth. This doesn't look like human technology. 
It's attracting them by someone's watching movements. So, I don't know, one and three both seem... Well, the first one seems like we're in a dystopian society, but there's no real hint at that. It's attracting the vice. Someone's watching my movements. That seems spy-like. This is high military tech. Somehow I can tell. Why would any intelligence agency want to keep track of me? Um, I don't know. Where haven't I looked? I haven't looked in the left eye, I guess. Oh yeah, there's nothing there. Shoulders, maybe? So I checked the tummy. Check the boobs. Haven't really checked the neck and shoulder area. Some of the skeleton and cervical discs have been replaced. Takes me back to the day Johan pushed me out the window. So child abuse. Uh, necromancy golem thing. Memories being buried. The dust, the rubble pressing against my back. And my crack, was I ever trapped inside a collapsed building? Hmm, I already expected this. Okay. Uh, I'll look a little bit more. Anything? Checked feet, check. I haven't checked the shins yet, I guess. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, we may be in several. I found a tracker device under my skin. It is blinking and looks military. Should I destroy it? What is it doing inside of me? Is my skeleton property of some government secret agency? That would explain a lot. What would it explain? Please come home. Ugh, this is game in paranoid. Or more paranoid. I get you're literally cutting open your body to pull things out. I certainly hope you're paranoid. Or else you're incredibly crazy. At least paranoia you have a reason. I got these circle desk replacements only months ago. In fact, that's when I started suspecting the skeleton wasn't mine. While I was on the operation table and the anthesia kicked in, I started having weird flashbacks about life experiences that weren't mine. Memories registered by these bones witnesses to many atrocities. This spine was trapped inside of a collapsed building in the middle of some armed conflict. The injured vanished after the operation, but the smell remained. The smell of dust, iron, and rubble. Please come home. But I'm better now. Those paralyzing pains in my back are gone now. Okay. What else is there? Okay. I guess I found everything and didn't realize. I think I solved the mystery. I think I solved the mystery. I dug enough around my body for a life. So far, all of what I found points towards a clear conclusion. Hey, I'm back. Ode to October Owls. Sorry it took me this long. I'm still a bit hazy. I've been successfully activated, but I don't recognize my surroundings. I believe something went amiss. Are you my handler? Do you copy? Shit, I wasn't supposed to activate by myself yet, right? Someone probably saw through my cover and had an idea of the foreign skeleton in my mind to take me out of the picture. Ha, okay. I'm turning home. Over and out. What the fuck is that? Please come home. Okay. That is a short weird tale. Okay. I'm going to go through that again. And get the other endings. Because I'm curious? Because I know being a Russian spy isn't the only ending. There must be others. Um, what's happening? So if I press space, um... It enters x-ray mode during the cutscene. Uh, then these images don't go away. Hmm. Did that break the game? 
That, that seems like a bit of an issue. Hmm. Hope this doesn't stay here. That could be bad. Okay, good, they're gone. Okay, so the game doesn't, like, have a menu screen. So when you need to finish, the, when the game's over, it just closes, which is sort of annoying. And there's no way to um, skip ahead. Like, skip past this cutscene. So I'm just gonna locate everything and then do all the dialogue all at once. Back in flesh. Uh, shoes. I mean my feet. Okay, so last time I did that one. Whoever put the skeleton inside me isn't familiar with the human body. Yeah, let's go with Supernatural. The idea of being this oblivious to the human body messing with my insides makes me want to rip my bones out of my flesh. Ugh. Okay. Moving on. Some of the skeleton's circle discs have been replaced. Uh, whoever put the skeleton did an imperfect job. Yeah. They had to complete the spine by adding some mechanical pieces. I hope it lasts enough. Uh, let's see, let's throw up first. Let's remove the eye first, because that'll make it easier to throw up, in my opinion. Ugh. Let's take a quick look and put it back. I can feel the cold air inside my skull. It's really unpleasant. So I can feel life pulsating inside of it. Could this eye be alive? I feel like it's staring at me, like an eye would. Is that the gaze from this world? Okay, deep breaths. Um, throw up. Hope doesn't smell much. <laughs> Ugh, the taste is awful. What was this doing inside my stomach? I can notice stuff moving inside this mass. Feels otherworldly. Has my body been incubating this? It's alive. It has some sort of consciousness since it reacts to me speaking. I'm glad it is out now. You shouldn't do that. He's just a boy. Microchip. Looks like a microchip. It's blinking. This doesn't look like human technology. The blinks aren't random. There's some sort of pattern. Could I use this to communicate with... them? At first look, it's easy to think this is a regular crystal eye. But it's not made of glass. It's a heart living substance. When I stare at it, this eye examines me. It's clearly sentient. I wonder who may be watching. Where are these images getting at? Could this eye belong to some major being? For how long have you been streaming my experiences? Please come home. Don't panic. I can sense its kindness. It's looking after me. God, that's weird. This small blinking piece must be some sort of special tech. Although it doesn't look like human technology at all. I mean, it's made of something that feels membranous. My perception is that it's closer to being an insect than a microchip. If you pay close attention, you can use some kind of dim breathing. And the blinking is not random. It's not for a longer. I feel like it's reacting to my speech. What is it trying to say? Why was it living inside of me? Please come home. Oh, it records your voice. Please come home. Is that what you are trying to tell me, little thing? It has soft blinking. Hmm. I vomited a disgusting pinkish mask. About the detonation, you can discern some small beings floating inside. Most of them don't move, though. It looks like they're rapidly dying after being put out of my body. This explains why I've been barely eating the past few months. Would you be eating more if you had something that was consuming your nutrients? They have been growing inside of me for who knows how long. Although, what is this sadness that has infected my guts now? Please come home. 
I feel like I've lost something very important to me. Create a functional human skeleton must be quite an endear endearing task. Apparently, whoever worked on my spine didn't have the required skills and had to patch it up with some steel junk. It's, I'm so pissed off for not noticing what was going on with my bones until this late. After this long, it's going to be impossible to trace back to my... My... Creator? Maker? I trust my bones are official or to my whole flesh? No, this body is mine. I can feel it. I do have a fault. Please come home. Why well, was someone replaced my bones by some artificial one? Maybe it was to save my life? I think I found a mystery. I dug enough around my body for a life. So far, all of what I found points towards a clear conclusion. Hey, I just was there. I solved the mystery while well, thought of. My bones aren't mine, my bones are gifts. The skeleton was given to me by an extra dimensional being, along with many other bits that sustain me. They can't interact directly with our world, so they have to do it through time and life. This is their art. I can't really puzzle out what their implants are, what they expect from me. But their attentions are noble, their cause is... love. I don't know how I can tell all of this. It's like it is falling through a little keyhole from the back of my mind, now that I dare to believe in their existence. They are watching through my eye. They are studying other worlds and other possibilities. Other paths for life and culture to grow. My mind wondered, is our dimension real to them? Are we just a shape on Omiya? A weird fiction on a computer screen? Or perhaps simply a video on YouTube? My soul demanded to know the real thing, to know what is reality that mattered the most. And they taught me the most beautiful word I've ever heard. Dunhari. All of them. Dunhari, my friend. Okay, same guy. Please come home. Okay, so now to do the last one. Fast forward. Okay, so I noticed something while I was doing this. The game files actually are just named after what sort of ending they will lead to. Uh, it's, you know, that's not really good, because that totally spoils it. Because they're extracted into the same folder as the executable to start the game. So I would suggest uh, to the creator of this game, if you're watching, uh, either rename them or put them in a fold separate folder, maybe? I'm not entirely sure what engine you're using to make this, so we can't really tell you. Anyways, I believe I'm going to go for the Johan ending. Takes me back to the day Johan pushed me out the window. That day, I couldn't take it anymore. I was trying to escape when he... Ah, uh, ugh, it's a bullet. I had a bullet inside my thigh. Now I remember Johan's games with his gun. He used a toy with his revolver when frustration got the better of him. Can't believe this was still inside my leg. Domestic abuse is not funny. And pull the teeth out. I'm not doing her voice for pull teeth out anymore, it's hard. Uh, just let me click a bit faster. I almost died the day Johan beat me with a frying pan, but that was the last time he hit me. Thank god. Okay. Um, let's see, so... Feet were nothing. Bullet in my thigh. How sad is it is that I know how to extract a bullet and suture the wound being just 17. 
Normally it was Alvajan's flush. He liked to play Russian roulette with his own body, always aiming at the non-vital parts. He said there was no fun in pressing the gun against your own temple. Where is the excitement? It just lights out. You shoot your leg, you have to stick around and endure the mess. Only that was the one who endured the mess while he was too drunk to even feel pain. One of those times he shot his revolver through his hand and hit me in the thigh. He got so scared he sobered up immediately and ran for the medikit. Seems he wasn't skilled as me at treating the bull wound since he forgot the damn thing inside me. Please come home. That day, Joanne's screams didn't paralyze me. It was worse. They haunted my legs. My skeleton would start running towards the window, and I'm willing to do endure any, endure another of Johan's beatings. In case you don't know, when your skeleton decides to override the instructions from your muscles, you just turn into a puppet. So my bones jumped out of the window. I fell on top of a car, but it wasn't then when the spine was, the spine was damaged. It's a typewriter joint throughout the window that crushed my back. That's how I got the cervical discs replacements. Please come home. So for lining the skeleton never overtook control again. Uh, I'm missing teeth because of Johan. John was frying some eggs and bacon. Mm, bacon. He was going through a great phase. Months without getting violence. Finally, a medication that worked. I crest his back out of joint supports. The bacon cracked on the pan and a burning jar of oil hit his eye. He pushed me back and hit me with the pan in the face. At that moment, I didn't notice I just lost three teeth. I found the kitchen floor and he started beating me with a burning pan. I had to remove bits of the swimsuit I was wearing from my burnt skin. My back still keeps some dreadful marks from the hot oil. Please come home. I ran away after I left the hospital. Never seen Johan again. I think I solved the mystery. I've dug enough around my body for a life. So far, all of what I found points towards a clear conclusion. My skeleton pertains to Johan. Hey. I finished peeking into my body. I know whose skeleton is this now. It's... It's Johan's. He stole it from me. I escaped from him time ago, but these bones won't ever be mine again. My body is so beaten it doesn't belong to me anymore. It's been conquered. I won't ever be able to feel proud of my physique. But at least I've recovered my will. I'm a haunted carcass that roams the earth. I'm as free as a ghost. I want to go home. So is that Johan? Please come home. Okay. So that was the Johan ending. Uh, let's see. So this is for... Did the imperfect job, I guess? Yeah. Uh, I read this one earlier, though, so... Uh, come from different humans, I assume. I know one of these is for the alien ending, one of those is for the current ending I'm going for, the homunculus ending. I want to say this one's from homunculus. Our brown scum may have used different humans as their source. Now I believe in more in my body. Okay. Okay, uh, so apparently a lot of these don't matter for the homunculus ending. Which makes it hard because I need to ex make sure I don't accidentally get too far into the alien or agent ending, which are both far easier to do. Okay, so it's homunculus, homunculus, homunculus. See, these almost look and feel like the real thing. They're not like at all, they may come from different people. So, is this called some sort of Frankenstein? I think I did this already. Where did the maker of the skeletal material from? Okay, spine. Creating a functional human skeleton must be quite an endearing. Oh, I read this already, though. Apparently, whoever worked on my spine didn't have the required skills and had to patch it up with some steel junk, yada yada. I read this during the alien ending. 
to my creator, maker, or just my bones artificial, or is it my whole flesh? No, this body is mine. I can feel it. I do have a soul. Please come home. Why would someone replace my bones by some artificial ones? Maybe it was to save my life. Uh, feet... Feet matter, right? Yeah. I guess that if you were to create a skill, then the most basic ingredients would be human bones. After examining my feet through the x-rays, I feel like my body could be some sort of collage. That realization makes me feel even more detached from my insides. My skeleton isn't just not mine. Now it's no one's. You would guess it doesn't make a difference, but it does. It stirs up my craving for identity. Please come home. I'm just some human scrapbook. Ugh. And found teeth. Were teeth important for this? Yes. They're all so weird and different. The color is all wrong. I'm sure these all come from different people. I knew it. My skull has been crafted. These are not my original bones. Now it makes sense why I felt so gross to chew food. It feels like feeding from other people's mouths. I don't want to eat ever again. Please come home. I think I solved the mystery. I've dug enough around my body for a life. So far, all of what I found points towards a clear conclusion. Hey. I got it. I know it's a bit far-fetched, but I can't think of any other explanation. My skeleton has been crafted. I'm artificial. Well, maybe not me, but definitely my bones. The most unsettling realization is that where this is craft, there's an is that where there is craft, there's an author. Who's my maker? I guess I'm not the first one to ask that same question, huh? Although in my case, it doesn't seem to be the work of a god. I'm so flawed. I came looking for answers and I just found a body full of questions. How do I even begin to track my creator? Am I a product of science? Of magic? Of alchemy? So many questions. What is my purpose? Why am I alive? What? I... I'm just asking the very same questions as any other human. God, how it pisses me off to be so... ironically unspecial. Joke's on me. Please come home. Okay, one more. One more. The acceptance ending... Yeah, this one. I read this in the first thing. Yeah, it's whatever. So I actually think this one is the acceptance one, and this one was the agent one. So I'm going to do this one. Because I think I know what the acceptance ending is about, perhaps? No, this one, maybe. Again, I don't know what setting this is in, so let's do citizenship. Citizenship chip. Well, I, they should just call it a citizenship. I'm glad I took it out. Fuck the system. Okay. I should tell you about how I lost my eye. I did never tell you about how I lost my eye, did I? In one of my early life crisis, I joined an archery club to try to make some friends. Why archery? Ah, you see, I'm a bitch for fantasy novels and archery are usually among my favorite characters. I guess you already know where this is gonna go, right? Short story, we recreated Williams' tells in a famous scene, and I was the one with the apple on my head. I'm... I'm so sorry. Please come home. That sounds painful. Okay, I remove my citizenship chip, microchip. We all forget their existence until we steal an extra machine and peek inside our hand, huh? Why can't religion be a choice but you get pierced after birth with an intrusive control device? How ethical is to force a human being into a system? Oh yeah, but crime is so low and bureaucracy is so agile now. Please come home. I couldn't tell if you were being sarcastic or not because I don't know the setting that this world is. Don't worry, they'll put me a new one back in after they arrest me. My feet. My feet can't definitely be mine. They're so gross. 
Uh, this one I read before. I think that was the last one that mattered as well. Uh, yeah, everything else doesn't matter, so... Skip. I think I solved the mystery. I think I solved the mystery. I dug enough around my body for a life. So far, all of what I found points towards a clear conclusion. Are you still there? I finished my investigation. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry. I'm ashamed. I'm not well. I need help. Yeah, the skeleton is mine, after all. It doesn't matter how many stories I make up to justify every tiny imperfection. It's my body, but I have trouble accepting that. I don't like myself, I don't think I will ever be able to like myself. I went and stole an x-ray machine from the hospital to avoid facing my low self-esteem. That's pretty baller. You're probably thinking I lost it. Now I see how delusional this all seems. And there's no telling when I'll lose touch with reality again. I don't trust myself anymore. Come and pick me up, please. Please, take me home. Please come home. So he's who's he supposed to be in that re in that version? Is she is he a delusion in that reality? Who knows? Okay, one more, one more, one more. And fast forward to so that. Uh, so PTSD ending is this one. The dust, the rubble pressing against my back. Was I ever trapped inside a collapsed building? Okay, bullet from my thigh. So bullets, there's a PTS thing, PTSD thing for this. I believe I read it earlier, but I'll read it again. Once she's done digging into her thigh, ugh. If the wound is souls old, was I shot as a kid? But do recall smell. It's making me want to cry. Uh, eyeball, is that a thing? No. What's the one that's the next thing? Microchip is not a thing. Teeth is a thing. Stomach is a thing, okay. Uh, throw up. Uh, what was it doing sound of stomach? Looks like coagulated blood and pus. The smell's terrible. This is not the first time I've seen this, though. I have an unhealable wound inside from when my belly was pissed. And then teeth. Ah, this is gonna hurt. Show stone about vodka, yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. Now my mouth feels all wet. Blah blah blah. Uh, yeah yeah yeah. So teeth have home. This is may come from different people. That's homunculus. That's obviously Johan. So really, that that's not an ancient one. Hmm. This is PTSD. I thought that was an ancient one. Did they ever? Yeah yeah yeah. I read all that earlier. Okay, so oh, I need to do the last two. I believe I was shot as a kid. I know memories from when we were kids are supposed to be nebulous, confusing. But I feel there's something in my head blocking them. They just don't get to me. The sounds do. The smells do. Especially the smells, yes. The wound in my thigh is so old, the scars are formed by growth. I was shot as a kid, and this boy has been somehow living inside of me for years. It smells like burnt flesh and rubble, the smell of high-pitched screams. These bones ache. I 
got these circle disc replacements only months ago. In fact, that's when I started suspecting the skeleton wasn't mine. While I was on the operating table and the anesthesia kicked in, I started having weird flashbacks about life experiences that weren't mine. Memories registered by these bones, witnesses to many atrocities. The spine was trapped inside of a collapsed building in the middle of a some armed conflict. The images vanished after the operation, but the smells remained. The smell of dust, iron, and rubble. But I'm better now. Those paralyzing pains in my back are gone now. Okay, so... This story is what's important. I learned about punishment to children, child soldiers in a documentary about the recent civil war way beyond the border. They're supposed to live in a democracy now. Let's leave it at that. They're still figuring out. Hopefully they won't end up as our lauded democracy. Not so long as 10 years ago, there was a scandal over a unit composed of children and their surprising efficiency at the battlefield. She was one of those children. In this version. The child soldier situated last, situation lasted for 8 months and then our country deployed operations rescued to rescue those kids. Most of them were missing teeth. Like hers. Their tale about how the militia tore a teeth off them for every failure made laughed fuss over the news. I wonder if the skeleton is from one of them. Yeah, it is. Were those kids ever returned to their homeland? No, you weren't. And vomited blood and pus. I've been vomiting blood and pus from time to time since I have memory. The doctor said this was untreatable, that it heals I grow. I don't remember the visit, though. Which is why I've always been told. Not that I cared much, because this has always been with me. Doesn't happen often, maybe six or seven times a year. If I stare long enough at this gross puddle, my ears start ringing, vision goes numb, and the taste of rotten blood evokes some old trauma of... of something piercing my stomach. Land on the ground, black clouds over purple clouds, being wrapped in a blanket by some people in uniforms. Okay, and the last two don't matter. I think I solved the mystery. I've dug enough around my body for a life. So far, all of what I found points towards a clear conclusion. I'm done. Definitely, my skeleton isn't what you expect from a teenage girl. The clues I found are hard to piece together. Mostly because what my bones evoke are sounds and smells rather than images. I don't know what things are actual memories and what are the products of my imagination. But there's a clear pattern. Smoke, dirt, blood, fear, and screams. Scary, loud noises. Most of the injuries this skeleton sustained point out that these bones belong to a child soldier. So, it's not magic nor science fiction. However, I can't help thinking in these mem those memories and feelings as if they weren't mine. It's like I've inherited the body of a child soldier. Can PTSD do that to someone? It's weird, though, because I don't feel sorry or scared. I feel thankful. For the poor kid having endured war for me. Then sacrificing themselves to give me another chance at life. Thank you. I will wear your bones with care and pride. Thank you. Who are you supposed to be here? Please come home. Okay. So let's see real quick. Ending acceptance, agent, aliens, homunculus, Johan, PTSD. And then this is the ending menu. Okay, so I hit every ending. I don't really want to do a outro like analysis of this, because I doubt I'll be able to do it justice. But thank you guys for stopping by watching the video. If you like the video, do the thing that does the thing that lets me know about the thing. And until next time, bye bye.